Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my current foundation routine for flawless skin when I really want a lot of coverage, but to still look natural, just the way that I do my makeup in a lot of videos where people ask, you know, how I do my foundation, because in a lot of tutorials I don't show that at the beginning of every video just because it would be redundant every single time, but I know that it's something that um, is interesting if you're seeing the other aspects of my makeup, so when I do change it up, I like to do an updated foundation routine video, so here it is, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So my first step is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. I use Shade Light. It has SPF. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer, but I love that it has SPF. I love that it's, um, again, it's moisturizing. It has a lot of good ingredients, and it also controls oil. Back the hair. Um, you can definitely wear this every day just on its own, but if you want more coverage and you want your skin to really be like absolutely perfected, um, that's what this tutorial is for. It's an actual foundation tutorial. So, you can get away with this stuff daily, you know, just out and about. A lot of times I'll take an F84 brush, just kind of go around my eyebrows, just kind of make sure that it's all blended because I'm going to use this brush for my foundation anyways. And then my favorite foundation lately has been the Revlon Color Stay, the one that's for dry to normal or normal to dry skin. Um, I prefer this one over the oily skin formula just because I feel like the coverage is a little or the finish is more natural, but the coverage is just as good. Um, so I get that on my fingers. Wish I had a better pump applicator, but it's alright. Um, you can put it out on your hand and then dip your brush, but a lot of times I just dab it right on my skin. I take that same brush and I start blending from the center out. Just some little short strokes. The coverage on this foundation is amazing and it reminds me the most of the um, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus than anything else I've ever tried. And for a long time I kind of didn't really pay much attention to that foundation because I had only used the formula for oily skin in the past and I found it to be a little too thick. And sometimes, you know, if we all have the moments where like we have maybe little dry areas or imperfections on the skin and it really clings to imperfections. Um, but this formula doesn't. I find it's a lot different than that one, so this one's very good. So any areas that have a little bit more redness, you may want to apply just a little more, but we're not concealing everything with this. I think that's the biggest mistake people make with foundation is they feel like everything has to be totally concealed and they end up applying way too much. So just kind of um, get the redness under control, like, like you saw. If you have any around your nose, apply just a little bit more around your chin or whatever. But don't conceal every blemish and imperfection. That's what concealer's for. And because of that, I like to apply concealer after liquid foundation. And my very favorite one is the MAC Studio Finish in the Little Pot. I feel like it holds up really well. And um, it's just very, very um, full coverage. So I love that. I like to use an F75 brush. Any sort of concealer brush. But I've really been loving this particular one lately. And just on any like areas of redness... You just dab it on, and then we'll blend it out later. I like to just kind of apply it and then go back with my finger. So when you have perfected your skin and you feel like that's all ready, I like to take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. It's a pressed uh, mineral product. It's sort of like one of those baked mineral products, I guess you would say. Um, it's very, very natural as far as the finish. I just use a big um, powder brush for that. I don't use a whole lot of it, I just dab a little bit on the brush and then just kind of blot it on my skin. Then I move on to my under eye concealer. I use the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. They also make one that's for dark spots. I just love this little applicator, it's so perfect. Um, they also make one for dark spots that's in like a white container. Um, I definitely purchased that and used that for like a week thinking that it was this one. Um, and didn't realize what it actually was. Um, then I take an F86 brush and just kind of dab that in. This is a pointed um, synthetic brush. It does a great job of blending without tugging on your under eye area. It's just really soft. I love synthetic brushes for blending out uh, liquid products because they don't absorb a lot of the actual product. They just kind of smooth them on. If you prefer to set your under eye concealer, which I definitely do, I'm very anti-face powder under the eye area and foundation and all that. I feel like it just kind of settles and it's a little drying for that area. That's why I apply that last and kind of skip foundation around the under eye area. Um, I just apply products that are made for that area. 
And then when you set it, you definitely don't want to use the same product that you use on your face. It can be a little drying, it can settle. I like to use really finely milled products. Um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder is a great like highlighter. It's great to use around your eyes. It's just a great sort of multi-purpose product. But I really love it for setting under eye concealer. Um, I use this F35 brush and just smooth it on. You definitely don't want to pack on a lot. You definitely want to apply it as sheer as possible and just smooth it on and then you can also use this like as a highlighter which is kind of fun um, it's definitely just a multi-purpose product but I hope you guys enjoyed this I definitely think it's good to kinda update every now and then because I don't show my foundation routine on every single tutorial or every single video that I film so um, because of that, I kind of try to update it every now and then when I'm using something new. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, and I will talk to you all very soon.